Man, Ninja Gaiden was one of the best games from the 80s. Who doesn't want to run around climbing on walls and shit as a badass ninja? I mean, sure, the game is ball-bustingly difficult on a level that borders on sadistic, but it's still awesome. What many people may not realize is that right after Ninja Gaiden 2 The Dark Sword of Chaos came out in 1990, a very obscure anime was released exclusively in Japan on VHS and what I could only imagine is a stupidly expensive and very rare laserdisc. You can tell we're in for some good stuff when this is how they open up the movie. Not too sure about that music though. It's a little uh it's a little weird, a little off-putting. The OVA takes place after the events of the second game, with Ryu now owning a store in the middle of New York, literally called Ryu's Japanese store. I mean, wow, you really went through all your options with that one. It's also kind of weird to see a badass ninja like Ryu just hanging out at a shop, but I guess even ninjas that are capable of defeating gods need a day job too, right? We also have Irene returning, but really her only purpose is to whine to Ryu about not being able to go to her birthday party and to get kidnapped later. But spoiler alert if you haven't somehow played or beat a game that came out 27 years ago. In Ninja Gaiden 2, you met a character named Robert, whose fate was left kinda in the air in the game. Did he die? Did he live? Well, he lived. With our characters established, Ryu goes to some company where a scientist claims to have come up with a cure for cancer with no side effects. Seems legit. Wow, I mean look at that guy, there's no way he's evil. There's no way he's been doing awful human experimentation on babies and kids and OH GOD! That's pretty horrific. Actually, speaking of horrific shit, wasn't Ninja Gaiden directed towards kids? I mean, I know the Xbox reboot and more recent games are definitely M-rated, but I always recall the original NES games to be, you know, sold to kids. Not this anime, there's fucking blood flying all over the place, heads getting chopped off, disfigured dudes with weird ass faces, it's awesome. Visually, this OVA is really cool. It's got like a neo-noir thing going on. Now this wasn't rare for anime from the early 90s and 80s, but given the fact that this anime is as obscure as it is, I expected it to look a lot worse than it does. The final portion of the OVA is just total chaos and it's great on every level. Ryu and all the other characters show up at the lab where pointy-headed bad dude works and we get everything from awesome car chases to Ryu cutting up fish dudes, don't know what's up with that, but whatever. Robert and this other guy run in literally guns blazing with rifles and shit, mowing down rows of, I don't even know, werewolves and other stuff, I don't care, it's awesome. And just listen to the music. Holy crap. I realize that I'll probably never be able to get the soundtrack to this thing, but damn it, I want it so bad. The final battle is really entertaining too, and really well animated to boot, especially when the guy transforms into whatever the hell this is supposed to be. I mean, sure, you can't beat Akira's transformation, but this is still really cool. My only issue is that the battle is way too short, but that's to be expected since this movie is only 50 minutes long. As to be expected, Ryu and our heroes save the day, and oh god, we're all fucked! So that's the Ninja Guide and OVA in a nutshell. It's a lot of fun. I mean, don't go into this expecting a ton of character development. After all, it is only 50 minutes long, but for what it is, it's great. You want to just watch a ninja run around chopping guys up and men with guns screaming at stuff while other stuff explodes? Here you go. It's visually pleasing and entertaining and has great music all wrapped up into a short little package. Like I said though, it was never released outside Japan, so the chances of you being able to find a physical copy of it anywhere is slim to none, so sorry collectors. But it is available on YouTube for your viewing pleasure, so I definitely recommend it, especially if you're a Ninja Gaiden fan. And who knows, maybe if we can give it enough attention, maybe, just maybe, we can see it get a remaster and a DVD or Blu-ray release, because it definitely deserves it. But, I mean, the chances are still probably slim.